Skullduggery is a word that oozes intrigue. It evokes images of covert schemes, underhanded plots, and deception cloaked in charm. While it might sound like something out of a pirate novel, skullduggery is alive and well in modern times. History is filled with moments where hidden agendas and manipulative tactics have reshaped events, sometimes dramatically. But while skullduggery might seem clever in the short term, history and common sense remind us that it often ends in disaster for the schemer. One of the most famous instances of skullduggery comes from the world of espionage during the Cold War. The elaborate schemes of double agents, from Kim Philby to Aldra James, were acts of betrayal that went undetected for years. Philby, a high-ranking British intelligence officer, was a double agent working for the Soviet Union, passing vital secrets to the enemy. His charm and ability to blend in at the highest echelons of power made his skullduggery all the more devastating when it was finally revealed. His actions endangered countless lives and forever altered international relations. What started as cunning subterfuge eventually became a story of downfall and disgrace, highlighting the classic flaw in skullduggery. Once the deception is revealed, trust is destroyed, often irreparably. Skullduggery raises questions about morality and intent. Thinkers like Immanuel Kant would argue that no amount of success justifies deception if the act itself is immoral. In his philosophy, it's not the outcome that matters, but the integrity of the action. Skullduggery, no matter how well-intentioned or strategic, would fail Kant's categorical imperative to act in ways that you would want to be universal law. If everyone engaged in deceitful behavior, trust, the bedrock of human interaction, would collapse. The psychological mechanisms that drive skullduggery often stem from a combination of fear and greed. In the corporate world, for instance, unethical business practices, whether insider trading, bribery, or market manipulation, are common forms of skullduggery. The 2008 financial crisis, sparked in part by the deceptive practices of major banks, is a prime example. Investment firms engaged in selling subprime mortgages to investors, fully aware of their toxic nature. They hid the risks, creating an illusion of security. In the short term, profits soared. But when the truth came out, the consequences were catastrophic. Billions in losses, shattered lives, and widespread economic devastation. The data is staggering. Over 8.7 million Americans lost their jobs, and global markets suffered years of instability. This skullduggery on a massive scale showed just how dangerous deception could be when it is woven into the fabric of financial systems. Anecdotes from everyday life show that skullduggery isn't just reserved for spies and CEOs. From petty office politics to social manipulation, people frequently engage in small acts of deception, whether to gain an advantage or cover a mistake. A seemingly harmless lie about why a project wasn't completed or shifting the blame to a colleague may seem trivial, but these small acts chip away at trust. Statistics from the Journal of Business Ethics indicate that once dishonesty enters a workplace culture, productivity drops by 20%, and employee engagement plummets. While deception might bring short-term gains, the long-term effects are often damaging. Skullduggery, by its nature, requires constant vigilance to maintain the facade. And yet, when exposed, it tends to bring the house down. Trust, once broken, is hard to rebuild. Whether in politics, business, or personal life, those who engage in skullduggery almost always pay the price in the end. Skullduggery may offer a seductive promise of easy victories or hidden rewards. The cost of deceit, no matter how carefully planned, almost always outweighs the benefits. The allure of skullduggery might be strong, but its legacy is often ruined.